an old farmer a couple weeks ago said to me, Mary, it's a lot easier to talk about sex with your offspring than it is farmland transfer. <laughs> The transfer of land from one generation to the next can be a contentious one, full of drama for families and communities. That drama is playing out in small town auditoriums and classrooms across Iowa. It's a land transfer saga taking center stage in the form of a play. I wondered, started thinking, how do other families handle these things? I mean, we don't even have a real word for it. What, selling the farm? <laughs> Land transaction? And it's not just that, it feels like we don't even have a real process for how to do this anymore, let alone do it well. Map of I mean, My Kingdom is a play commissioned by Practical Farmers of Iowa. Executive Director Teresa Opheim wanted a novel way to provoke conversations in Iowa's rural communities. Our farmers, some of them are starting to lose their land base in this whole farm transition that's going on. Mary Swander had been a member of our group for quite a while, and I thought, well, she's done a number of plays that have agricultural themes. Maybe she'd be interested in doing one on farm transfer. She just looks at me and she says, so I'd like to commission you to write a play about farmland transfer. So I was like, really? Really? Mary Swander is the Poet Laureate of Iowa. She knew the writing of this play would require a unique approach. Yikes, who's going to be my main character? How are we going to dramatize this on the stage? And then I found Mike Groseman, who is a land mediator. Over the next 15 or 16 years, we're going to see at least half of the land exchange hands. That is a given. How that occurs, isn't entirely clear. Dr. Michael Roseman is a licensed psychologist, writer, and retired farmer. He helps families work through land transfer conflicts. I don't know of any farmer who doesn't take his or her work very, very seriously. It is that struggle for land that often makes the tensions over the transfer of land, let's say, most poignant or most felt by everybody. We're, yeah. we're missing it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mary wrote the script as a one-woman show. I mean, the main character, a land mediator based off of Mike Roseman, who tells a variety of personal and public stories about how people deal with passing on their land to someone else. Tonight, that role is played by Chicago actress Cora Vanderbrook. The set is minimal, lighting and sound are not required, it's an effort to have it shown just about anywhere. This night, it's a classroom at Waldorf College in Forest City, Iowa. We come and go, but the land is always here. And the people who love it and understand it are the people who own it for a little while. At first glance, Vanderbrook doubted stories of farm transfer could sustain an audience for over an hour. Honestly, I was like, what are you gonna find dramatic in that? I really did, I'm like, I, I was like, oh, can we do one more show about land transaction? I mean, that sounds maybe a little boring. I'm nervous. But for well, local retired so farmer, so Douglas so Parker, the play took a page right out of his life. One story after another, and really the story needs to be get told. Owning land? We have rehashed and reviewed our farm problem. I could write a book about it. Mike gets mad real mad and comes roaring up yelling, get your sheep off my land. Get your pickup off my land. It was a, what you call planning in reverse. We, we did the planning after the fact, trying to get things straightened out. The old bachelor farmer, he got so wore out, he took to sitting on his porch with his shotgun. Each time one of the boys came around trying to make their case, he'd sit there with his gun in his hand and say, I will will the farm to my dogs if you don't leave me be. I've had so many people say to me, I forgot that it was a play. I thought it was just a lawyer talking to me. Nothing can come from nothing. So they'll start to do something. 
people come up to me and like throw their arms around me at the end of this with tears in their eyes saying, I just couldn't face this and now this play has convinced me that I need to. Those are days where you think, it's life is worth living as a playwright. <laughs> we only have a little sliver of time to make sure this land keeps getting loved, keeps getting understood, one while after the other. Thank you.